Hey guys, welcome back. Today's another quick tip in Luminar Neo. I'm just back from Iceland trying to catch up on a lot of things, but I wanted to get a quick tip video out. This one is all about enhancing the colors in like sunrise, sunset, and golden hour kind of shots. Here's an image from a gl glacial lagoon in Iceland. It was, uh, it was amazing. Um, what I have done already is I started with Develop Raw and I took the photo from that to that. Smart contrast, highlight, shadows, that's it. Now in the past, I would often make adjustments to temperature and tint here, and then perhaps go to golden hour, just because I wanted to bring up those warm tones. However, note that if you're using Develop Raw and you're adjusting temperature and tint, that's global, meaning it impacts the entire photo. It's not very specific. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just sometimes maybe you don't want things to be global in nature. I often do not. I like to do a lot of what I call local adjustments uh, and so this is kind of a, a way of doing that. So I've got my base photo slightly edited based on develop raw, but no color adjustments. And what I want to do is go into toning. Now toning, super powerful. It's an amazing tool. What I've done in the past is start in highlights and you drag saturation to kind of turn it on. And I've often left the hue at that far left because I like, it's got a little bit of a magenta cast and I like that. But what I'm finding is with these kind of golden hour kind of looks, if I go to 25, looks a little bit better to be honest. So I could drag the saturation to as high as 50 even and still actually be okay with that overall look without feeling like it's overdone. And note that because toning separates the highlights from the shadows, I'm just working in the highlights, which means the shadows are not getting impacted at all with this color. It's just the highlights and that's really where I wanted it to go. I did not want to use the warmth or the tint or anything like that to cover the whole photo. I really just wanted to make those highlights warmer. So there it is before, and there it is now. And now, the other thing I uh, found, find myself doing is going into color harmony and just getting a little bit of brilliance, so maybe like a five or six, a little bit of warmth, the same kind of thing, just a low single digit number, and then split color warmth and doing the same thing. And you can see that's really adding just a whole lot of pop to the photo without really doing very much. So there it is before, and there it is now. And the entire photo overall started like that. Beautiful scene, nice clouds. There was some decent color, but it was kind of muted. Raw files always look a little bit more muted in color. And a couple of quick moves, basic light adjustment in Develop Raw, and then a quick, simple little hit with the highlights section of split toning, and then a little bit in color harmony. And I have a photo that I think looks fantastic. So check out those two tools, toning and those tools within color harmony to adjust those golden hour, sunrise, sunset kind of looks. And you can get something that you love quick and easy. Hope it helps. By the way, I've made an entire playlist of these quick tips. It's right there, there, somewhere. And um, check it out if you want to check out those videos. More quick tips coming soon. See you, my friends. Thanks for watching. Take care. Adios.